Hello, tiny squirrels. Our guest this time is the wonderful Lorraine Newman. To catch the full episode, please head on over to patreon.com slash things, and you can watch the full episode and or just support us if you want or just subscribe on YouTube and wait around. So please enjoy. today is Lorraine Newman. You may know uh, Lorraine from uh, the first cast of Saturday Night Live and uh, endless uh, movie roles and endless uh, voiceover work. Uh, and uh, here is Lorraine. Hello, Lorraine. How are you? Hi. Hi, you guys. I can't believe it. We've known each other how long, Antonio? I think 10 years now. 10 I think years. 2011. When, when did you go to Coachella to do that article? Oh, well, I started going in 2006. Oh, but, okay. But um, I don't, uh, the stuff I wrote about Coachella was when I started my website. You know, chronology <laughs> is not a strong suit with me, dear. <laughs> I just, I'm not good with that. But I, at least 10 years. And this is at the first time years. I'm hearing your voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, um, apart from when, uh, when, uh, when you supported the show uh, um, by watching oh, right. it. And... I should say, I should start off uh, by saying something that um, most people will not know that uh, Lorraine was pivotal in the seminal, uh, seminal, pivotal in the seminal, great, uh, but was uh, <laughs> in the seminal stages of Made of Things because uh, I consulted Lorraine uh, on the concept of Made of Things when we started out as po a podcast initially and on the name and uh, Lorraine was very supportive so was supportive so thank you Lorraine uh, and uh, it was because of you that, ah, that's a great idea I think you should run with that and I was like if, Lor if Lorraine Newman says I didn't know <laughs> that, that. it's a good idea then I will run with that always <laughs> happy to help <laughs> there you go so thank you so much Lorraine and um, the second tie-in is that um, well uh, we just did our first episode on these zoom calls and um the first episode was with uh, Paul F. Tompkins on, uh, that you mentioned on your memoir uh, on the Dead Authors podcast, uh, yeah. uh, right, at, right, right at the end in the last few pages that you were on as Mary Shelley. So uh, there was a connection there as well. Yeah. 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 So, so and that was one of the research, shows. So. If I had done better research, I would have realized that she died quite young. And she wrote Frankenstein when she was like 19, and I should have played her yeah. young rather than this, this older British woman. But, oh, well. well you know, well. 19 at the time was like 37 <laughs> or something. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Which is the opposite now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to turn 40 next week, and uh, I feel like I'm like, I don't know, 26, maybe? <laughs> well, I'm 17, so. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. <laughs> but, or I should just stop counting. I agree yeah, with yeah. that. Yeah. It's, age is just a number. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah exactly. Exactly. When, when I was, uh, when I, when I turned 33, I was convinced I had turned 34 <laughs> and I spent a whole year saying that I was 34 <laughs> until uh, nope. Antonio told me, um, yeah, I'm turning um, so-and-so. And I'm like, oh, but we're like five years apart. So either you're older than you think you are, or I'm younger than I think I am. I have never heard of that happening. That's fantastic. <laughs> How did you feel having the extra year? It felt good. It felt good, actually. Like it, I gained a year. Well, it's uh, um, it's true. This is very true. No, no, just uh, forgot. Uh, no, age. The age. <laughs> I forgot, forgot like dates <laughs> yeah, exactly. and math. <laughs> if forgetting your we own age. We all want to forget math. All of us want to forget math. <laughs> <laughs>